welcome to Palin Height. Today we're having a special video about the Alone TV show on History Channel. Is it real? Is it stage? Is it fake? This show is about hiking, backpacking, kayaking, gear reviews, magnet fishing, and even more. So if you enjoy these kinds of things, you might want to subscribe. So first, Alone is a reality television series on History Channel. There is seven seasons out at the moment. So what is Alone? Well, it's a self-documented series that's about the struggles of 10 individuals. So they're trying to survive in the wilderness for as long as possible. That's the main goal of the show. So basically, stay alive and stay as long as possible to win the deal. <laughs> the last one standing gets $500,000. That's the main price. So if you're the last one to tap out, you win. They are all trained survival experts. They all know what they're doing. They have a lot of experience in the wilderness, hunting, fishing, all these kinds of things. They don't take people that don't know these things because they wouldn't last at all. This is a very struggling situation kind of uh, environment. They are isolated from each other except the seasons with the team and they have uh, some periodic medical checkups. They're like a team that comes by boat to see if they are okay once in a while, just to make sure for safety. They are responsible for their own food, shelter and health. So they have to build a shelter, go fishing, go hunting, put some snare straps and find little berries and stuff around and they have to know what they're doing because you know you can poison yourself with mushrooms and plants and you know not cooking the meat well uh, well they do get sick though you'll see <laughs> they are provided with a satellite phone so they can reach a rescue team in case there's an emergency or they just simply want to tap out if they had enough or for any reasons that they want so season one, two, and four was filmed in Vancouver Island, Canada. Season three was filmed in Patagonia, Argentina. Season five was in Northern Mongolia. And season six and seven was filmed in the Northwestern Great Slave Lakes in Canada. So each participants are giving a kit with basic gear, including clothing and medical supplies. And they can add 10 survival items to their list from a bow, axe, a fire rod, uh, fishing lines, uh, sleeping bag, they decide what they want. They have 10 that they can put in their bags. You will see that each season, there's a video from each participant showing their 10 items, which is pretty cool. The first six season lasted under 88 days, but season seven was a grueling 100 days in the Arctic. But it was not for $500,000, it was for a million dollars. A lone TV show can be found on Ulu, it's also on Netflix, on History Channel, and you can purchase it on Amazon Prime Video. People do get hurt on the show, like a lot, like injuries are very common there, you know, using axe, knives and stuff like that in the wilderness. Accident will happen, you will see that, but no one ever died. If you don't like dead animals or hunting, this might not be a show for you because there's a lot of it. You know, they, it's uh, survival mode. So, uh, but they have some rules. Uh, I think like fox, some type of foxes and some animals are restricted and they cannot hunt them. So they are only allowed to hunt what's legal. So that's not too bad. But yeah, if you don't like hunting or stuff like that, you might not enjoy the show, that's for sure. So the question here, hmm. is it real? Is it stage? Is it fake? 
So as per the participants and everything else that you can find about this show, it's 100% real. This show is real as it can be. They have to film themselves. There's no cameraman. Well, when they're dropped, there's a camera crew and when they come to pick them up, if they tap out or they win, there will be a camera crew with them. But other than that, it's a tripod fixed cameras and or a GoPro that you see that they're walking with it and it will shake and everything and it's clearly them doing it. So there's nobody like naked and afraid or Bear Grylls or that have like cameramen following them. This is not the same thing at all. And the way the show is divided is uh, you, you have a couple minutes with one participant, then they jump to another one, and then you see what the other one's doing. So they're switching from participants each time. So it's not only one episode's on this one or on that one or whatever. It's like, oh, let's go see uh, this one and this one and this one, and they switch. So you get like, you get you get to see everybody in some ways. So if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching.